Hello everyone and welcome back to more iRacing, where today we return with the ovals. Yes, trucks head back to Talladega. I'm pretty certain we did this race last season and things went rather interestingly. And by rather interestingly, I mean we got wrecked uh, right towards the start finish line. But I thought we'd jump in again. Like I said, we did the ARCA race last week. I'm just going to be mixing it around doing some different oval races here on the sim over the next few weeks. I thought Talladega is good fun. I've just come out of that Toyota GR86 race. If you missed out on that video that went live yesterday, I would highly recommend going back and checking out. And thought we don't really need to practice, of course. It's Talladega, uh, so you can just jump in, put your foot to the floor, and let's get on with qualifying. That lap time was 57.1. up over the line then. A little bit confused why the truck was blipping into neutral on occasion. That's going to put us 10th place though at the end of that. And that definitely cost us a fraction of time. I mean it won't have been much but yeah it seems a bit weird. Um, don't know if it's a problem with my shifter or what but yeah to be honest we're probably better off just staying towards the rear of the field at the start. I just want to try and get some I rating and some SR so if we can make it to the flag that would be nice. Right we're getting ready then to go here from Talladega starting We'll see from how P10. Them, right? We'll wait and see as to how this one goes. Like I said, often with the oval races, especially around the big speedways, I don't tend to cut much out because it's just action-packed right from the get-go. And often, to be honest as well, I just have to concentrate a lot. Um, so we kind of just enjoy a different style of videos as well. But watching then the line green, that's always helpful. Um, there we go. Green flag racing here from the Dega. Side. Absolutely rev the nuts off the car as we head down in towards Selma, but not quite going to see the same speeds that we did at iRacer Super Speedway. If you remember that video from a couple of weeks ago, 230 miles an hour we were achieving around there. Move as inside. yeah, early on, could move down to the inside, but yeah, not going to worry about that too much. Uh, we'll just see how things go early on um, and just kind of settle into it. As you can already see cars trying to make some moves. Um, definitely slow on the inside, so I might be able to try something instantly on the high side, but yeah, I'm not going to try anything too aggressive early on, anything like that. You know, I'm not going to bump people until really we get right towards the end of the race. I mean, really what you want to be doing is being in a good position, ready for lap 25. Nothing more, nothing less. As I feel like already top two that were on the high side there have already slotted in on the inside the line as we head back over the start finish line that's one lap ticked off and already speeds approaching 190 miles now so about 310 clicks not bad going uh, in well in a pickup truck there's no other way of describing it do really enjoy the pickup trucks to be honest nice to see as well in real life nascar uh, that i'm pretty certain it is camping world that are coming back oh sorry no it's the craftsman truck series isn't it again as of next year. I know they've re-gone with a huge sponsor from years gone by. So yeah, nice to see that as well, of course. It's just trying to keep it on the straight now early on. We have got a lot of speed though on the high side. As the Alex said, I just don't really want to do any bumping too early on. Really don't want to be trying to do bump draft and things like that. Probably until about the last 10 laps. Unless you're feeling really brave, as just trying to hold it on this line. It's roughly where we need to be pinned at the moment. It's definitely not going to be doing the pushing through the oval as well. It's dying, Dave. Someone's not happy. Further back. So that's what I mean. Just the lips off the red line occasionally. 
Whoa, that will be definitely a push coming from behind me. So that'll just give us a little bit of room to run back into. We'll see how people are happy about someone's connection. Luckily, apart from the momentary blip going into it, ours has been alright. So that's going to be three laps already ticked off here. It is only 25 laps, so if we went caution free, this would actually be quite a quick event. Am I expecting it to go caution free, though? That's a very different question. Carl in front there just thinking about moving up to the high side. Two cars with identical schemes, so I don't know whether they're working together. Perhaps on Discord or something like that. It just don't know. That's a movement because everyone doesn't want to do anything too risky too early on. No, I understand why you guys are so hard. Clear low. Not going to do me any favours. Hello. Nice blink. Hey, we kind of, can we try to hold the hand a little bit better on that sword and pull back the joint? Inside. Still cars on the inside though. That's going to be four tipped off then. It's the number four that really now. I think that would be a while. Let's see if I can get yeah. into the groove on the low side. But of course, you've always got to remember that the four lanes down the start finish line. Obviously merged back into three by the time he gets to turn one. Talladega was literally just designed to be chaos. Really, it's kind of just Bill Francis' whole idea with this place. Just trying to make sure that we don't get a long size number 17 in front of me. Why is it doing that occasionally? Is it a shifter or is it something else? I'll have to have a look on the replays afterwards. I'll have a look at my telemetry and see what's going on with it. Because if it's just the truck, then that's fair enough. But Oh, it's me doing something. It's all this time around. We actually got quite a big run. On the outside. Don't care much. I don't really want to push. Just kind of want to sit behind. As I learned as well, of course, from that race, that I race the super speedway. If someone tries to cut down on you, you have to just turn in on them. Like you have to turn straight at them. Either you, it's either they crash or you crash with them. So that's kind of the mentality. That we've got to keep, especially like I said, around these big ovals of Talladega, I race and Super Speedway, Daytona. Safety car as well. As all, we haven't got a safety yeah. car. Why are you still pushing wow, me? Already a caution, then. Crazy. He's still wow. going for it. Why, I can't Diego? Give a race of three wide back here, idiot. What the hell? What on earth was Diego trying to do? Yeah, what did I say? Go in. That's an annoying 4x early on. Don't think it's worth new tyres or anything like that, though. Right, well, as we come back round then to start lap 10 of this race, starting this time round on the inside in P7. Of course, we have now got the Geico restart zones as well, so there is a little bit more law and order in the sort of restart procedure now. So fingers crossed we can try and get a good getaway once again. Hey, They're slightly good, further up, up the order. Let's wait and see. Oh, we go. There we go. We are going. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the guys in front of me. The guys in front of me have gone there. I almost put it into first gear. I think we did momentarily. So lucky that we didn't get collected. As yeah, a couple of cars get round me off the restart. But it's certainly not the end of the world. As you see there, cars on the inside don't stand much of a chance. Gotta be careful of that number two. How many people mentioned it? Off the uh, when we run the caution about why I know he was trying to wreck me at that time. It's all we got. Someone very very slow on the inside as well. Let's just not try again and go in too hot. Is there three wide at the front of the field? This does not bode well early on. Look at the two. It's just exactly. absolutely yeah, chucking himself in there. Is going to try? Bit sketchy. Outside. Just going to let the 23 have it in the moment. Gonna try and be too aggressive too early on on this restart. As, yeah, that first caution apparently actually took out quite a few cars towards the rear of the field. I didn't realise how many there were actually in this race. It's almost another half distance. We've already had the one caution. Oh yeah, very much been shuffled back towards the rear of the field off this I restart. It's not the end of the world. Cars, look at this. Oh, this is getting very, very aggressive. We're definitely going to see another caution again fairly soon. 
Carlos is trying it everywhere at the moment. We're not even halfway through yet. Someone's blinking behind terribly as well. It's not helpful to see. Yep, there we go. Another cars. Inside to clear. How is that not a caution? What? <laughs> okay. Almost saw the two in front of me wreck each other as well there as they tried to avoid it. I mean, we've got through it. No issues yeah, whatsoever. Like, Unfortunate for those two. Time was at 53.7. So still got cars tearing up the inside uh, there, and that like should the have probably been a caution. But to be honest, if we They're swap inside. back in at the rear of this group, I don't mind sitting here for a while and just sort of allowing the carnage to continue unfolding there. I think the 23's got a similar idea. There's a lot of very, very aggressive trucks. So if we just kind of sit I'm back and enjoy the show. Still no caution, though. No one gets where is the number two? Is he right towards the front, or was he one of the ones that got wrecked? One guy got pushed in the airplane while we were there. I've got no idea how he someone to bring it across. He gets pushed into the, the inside, inside wall and it's still no caution, apparently. Is there someone who's very, very slow weird. heading back over the start-finish line? But, I mean, this is just very, very feisty at the moment. Carl's weaving around, trying to get into the right places. We are now over half distance. Way, 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 there's three way, wide. Yeah. We head back through one there as the one and the 21 get outside very, very close for comfort again. I'm not sure I want to get involved in this, but here we are. Just kind of got to do what we got to do. It's the seven that's going to try and close in. And we won't allow it. We'll just kind of push back up into the free space. It's just got to try and keep it pinned to this yellow line at the moment. Like I said, really, you don't want to be worried about where you are too much until about a lap and a half to go. That's when you try and make a big push towards yeah, no the front. Worries. But we'll have, we'll have it is what it is. Let's just stay together from now on, get back up there. I think everyone there is starting to realise those couple of laps are pretty crazy and we just need to work together for a bit. You know, the race can't be won at this point. It's all about just trying to get towards the end and then having carnage. Yeah, Okay, that lap time was 52.9. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. so Good job, I backed out that one, otherwise he was going round. We would have probably gone with him. So again, we, we are just trying to preserve our own truck at the moment. There's still quite a lot of cars in this car. Why does it do that? Very, very weird there. So we've got another slow car on the road. Very Careful. Yeah, like I said, I don't really mind being pushed got, right to the back of this group. He's going to try and move up the high side. Stay out of the way. Yeah, we'll that two actually two worked out quite we'll well. Often you see trucks do that, and then they just peel down slightly at the wrong time, or something ridiculous happens. Um, but yeah, 11 to go. Then we've got a couple of trucks trying to work the outside line once again. And still, nothing happening as of yet. Nothing too crazy. It all calmed down just a little bit, like it really needed to, to be honest, at this stage. Still got a couple of trucks behind us. Things aren't making moves. Oh, there we go. It's not what you need. Three wide again, just in front. It's going very, very slowly. I just don't want to get involved in any of it. I'm not worried at the moment. Final lap. Yeah, then we'll put the foot to the floor. But up to then, I'm just going to sit back, let the carnage unfold, and make sure we're at the right place there on our side, still looking very, very scuffed up. Here's that 23 yeah. car. You can just see there again, two almost three wide. People are shuffling around a bit more. Just got to be careful. Ten to go from Talladega. Concentration. I always apologise for that I can't commentate these like I do on the road courses, but so so difficult they're so well racing stuff it's just about precision that's the thing it's those tiny margins of error that are very very difficult plus the fact you know like i said i'm yeah, more experienced on the ovals i do need to concentrate a bit more everything like that um you know it's all good prep for daytona though so it's like a big thing to worry about the big big gap behind us as well which is reassuring so they probably won't close up by the end unless there is a big wreck or oh, we get another caution, of course, you never know what might happen. Just look at that, four wide yeah, almost. Just up the road. The NASCAR Hall of Fame car number four. Just kind of getting a little bit yeah, left I mean, out on his own. Once again, I'm just trying to... Yeah. I'm waiting I mean, for the carnage. Oh, there we go. Speaking of, I see smoke, I see smoke, back it down, back. 
There we go. That's another four or so gone. 23 car by, apparently. I lifted out at exactly the right time. I tell you what. Because if we kept our foot in then, that would have gone really badly. But, yeah, eight to go. We're probably going to have like five, four or five to go by the time the caution comes back in. But we're in a good place. Right, well, we might just get five more laps of racing in this then as we start lap 21 and 25 here from Talladega. Third restart of the afternoon. And once again, we're starting from P7. A lot of other cars around me are trying to strategize things as we get ready to go green. But hopefully we can just make it to lap 25 and then see what happens from there. Cars in front already getting quite feisty. I think people are starting to sense now they've got to start making moves. Green, green, green. Let's go. Okay, well, come on. How do we get on with it? Because that has not been... The restart that we needed. There's, oh, cars on the outside there have not gone away well. But I think the 21 has got damage. So that's instantly given us a free opportunity as we head in towards turn one there. Do I want to go on the outside? You know what? Let's try it. We'll move to the outside of the three there. Try and give these two something to work with. They look like some pretty clean trucks still at the moment. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what we can do. We're going to really need to concentrate now. Let's look at the rope we've got. Down the same side. Rocks on our inside there, moving very, very slowly. Oh, the 20 cuts to the inside of the 17, though. We're now going to be left out to dry. No! Why would they do this? <laughs> oh, there's still plenty of time, though, late on in the day, but I'm probably now just going to get hung out for a lap or so. There's still a lot of pushing and shoving behind us. Which is a bit of a sketchy spot right now, of course, because if someone swings high we get caught out, then we're in a world of trouble. So there we go. Oh, Ford does think about it. Ford's going to do it. No, he's not. He's going to butt slot back in. It's kind of half there, half here, so we don't really know what he's doing. I'm going to slot back in, though, definitely. Given the opportunity. Oh, this is... Come on. Pick a lane, number three. I'm going to try and see if we can give the four a bit of a push. Just yet, but I still just keep working together. It's three and a half more laps to go. I just want to be in the right place at the right time. That's all you're really doing here at Talladega is the number four. That's got some good speed. I'll try and give him a push now off of the final turn. Again, you just don't really want to give him too much of a push when he's trying to turn the truck, otherwise, we are all just going straight round. Got to be super careful like that. Trying to hold the line nice and steady. 20 car there still just wiggling around a little bit. Now we'll try and push him. Just give him a helping hand down the back straight. And even if we're not trying to compete for the win, we have still got to try and work with these other trucks to make sure that we can try and, you know, even if it's just trying to push him to the win. We're gonna go. Accept our own fate. But people already behind now talking about how they've got to go two more laps here from Talladega. It's getting really feisty now. It's the squeaky bum time in these sorts of races. Everyone's trying to get to the front. Everyone knows whether they've got good pace or not. But as long as we make it back round one more time, keep it green, that would be really nice. So then we can just race to the flag. Don't really want another caution if we can avoid it. So on number four there for a brief moment. Truck behind me though trying to push us along. We'll give him a little bit of a helping hand again. And you just push him down this back stretch. Again just pulling that at it into the corner there. Don't want to be pushing him through the turns. Definitely not got caught enough to be doing that as so here comes the number three again. Oh, are we gonna make it back round? No! One's gone! Two have gone, yep that's gonna be I don't know what didn't know I got tagged. Right, so we're trying for a green-white checker then. And we have made it through there. But that was a huge wreck behind us. It's taken out most of the field, so there might only be a couple of good race cars left in this. It is going to be a green-white checker, though, here from Talladega. Oh, that got a little bit nervous. But we're into P3. I'm a bit gutted I got a 4X there. I didn't feel any contact. I must have got tagged at the rear, but... Yeah, that was a big, big wreck. Right, about to go green then for the final time today. It's going to be green-white checkered. And I honestly, if I was a betting man, I'd say there's going to be another wreck. 
before we make it back round to start the final lap. Starting P3, there's probably only about six or seven trucks left that aren't damaged in some way or another, so we have certainly got a good chance at some big I rating here today. The SR is probably not going to be great, but can't really ever expect too much from Talladega. As there goes the 17 then. We're definitely not clear all round, as he's actually... I've... Outside, clear outside. Inside lane blew up, heads up. P8. I might have blown up the engine. We've been called into the pits for repairs. Right. Note to self. I, I might need to just use the paddle shifters. Um, yeah, the, the H pattern box doesn't work particularly brilliantly. If I just keep slipping gears. That's not good. I cannot believe after all of that. That's all I've done two laps from home. That's so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. The battle then for the race win anyway. As we head through the final couple of turns there. Three wide between the number four, the six and the 19 there. Briefly the 17 just slotting back in behind. But who is going to walk away with the victory here? You can see we aren't going to get... That caution flag back out, so this is going to be racing right to the chequered flag then here from Talladega. It's 17, looking in a pretty good position at the moment there. Thinks about getting to the inside of the four. Oh, there's bumping and bashing behind though. As the six and the five trade paint back through turn one there. A little bit of blinking from our leader. Where is he going to re-emerge in all of this? He's not coming back yet. Where on earth has the number six gone? That's not doing us any favours. I was trying to commentate on him. That's not helpful. What on earth is happening late on in the day? Is there's the 17. What, what are we watching? I want us to watch the leaders. Oh, they have wrecked up towards the line. The four is going to take it as everyone has gone behind him. So the four is going to take the win there. When all is said and done, we are going to come through for about P15, I think. So no I rating gain, no SR gained. That's a pretty gutting way to finish. But you live and learn. That's the way I racing goes sometimes. Hats off to Tyler there in the end. Right place at the right time on that final lap, but yeah, I, I'm probably just going to have to stick to sequential gears um, because I don't know how I kept slipping it into first, um, but it's definitely a different throw to my real car gearbox. 